Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Vosk of the Vosk on YouTube channel, and today I'm here to talk to you about mining rig rentals. So, if you go to my channel, search mining rig rentals MRR, you'll see my last video on this where I talked about the best nice hash alternative. Basically, with mining rig rentals, you can follow along on this video and uh, check that timestamp. Come on, you can follow along and you can rent your mining rig out. So, say I have a Zcash mining rig, then you'll be able to rent it out and receive Bitcoin, Litecoin, and or Ethereum, depending, you know, what you want to rent it out as. So you can see, you know, I come in here and I go over all that stuff in this video, but this video is not about that video. That video is just a part of Mining Rig Rentals. So you can also rent mining rigs on miningrigrentals.com. And that's exactly what I did. So let's just say we're at the home page right here. I went to rigs, SHA-256, aka Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and I went here and I grabbed the cheapest rig um, price per terahash per day I could grab. I clicked on rent now. And I'm going to go over setting that up in a second. But I just want to tell you about my previous rental first. Just, you know, show if you even want to do it or not. So I grabbed it. And it, caught me, it cost me like 0 0.013 Bitcoin. And I ended up making 0 0.00, almost 1.7 Bitcoin. So... Who, what, why, when, where, why, how. I said that too many times. So if you look at this, I rented it for 12 hours. And that's the advertised hash rate that this uh, you know, seller gave. And this was the actual hash rate performance. You can see that this was the total that I paid. Okay, so I was 0. 0.00001 off. Or maybe I said one too many O's. Oh, whatever. So this is what I paid. And that was the rental fee. I'm not sure if that was in there or additional, but whatever. So I paid this. And I made more than I paid. Which people are like, well, why would you rent a mining rig? Why wouldn't you just buy the coin or whatever? Well, there's a lot of uh, benefits to that. So I'm doing this on Bitcoin. But say you wanted to mine Equihash or you know, a coin on there. So say Zcash or Zencash, Hush, Z Classic, whatever. You could spend your Bitcoin to rent a rig and mine it. You know, you could simply just buy it, but you know, it's whatever you'd like to do. Honestly, you could skip the transaction fees that you'd have to pay to you know move that money on an exchange. Maybe it's more fun, exciting. There's the whole luck factor. You can make more than you know theoretically you should, or you could make less. It's gambling. Really, everything in crypto is kind of gambling, right? So anyway, did this, made money. I spent money and I made even more money than I expected. You will notice on my slush pool now, on this day, I turned on my S9. If you're wondering not to self-promote too much here, but if you're wondering about the S9, I actually have my first S9 video up right here. So check that out if you want to know more about that S9. So I do want to say, if you are going to sign up for Mining Rig Rentals to use my referral link, I'm going to drop it right there in the description below. This video is not about that, but if you are going to do it, support your boy Voscoin and, uh, you know, use my link. I really appreciate when you guys do that. So let's get to it. The whole purpose of this video is, is this worth it? Absolutely think so. And, well, okay, cool. Then how do we do it? Well, let's do it right now. Let's rent a rig. So I've got some Bitcoin in here. And I will say I've had zero issues depositing Bitcoin in here. And I actually have my slush pool synced up to this Bitcoin address right now. Again, never recommended to have your Bitcoin held by someone else like this. But um, I'm actually going to take that out soon because I'm starting to get a pretty good amount in there. On the topic of wallets, I like Exodus, but you really need to get a harder wallet, say the Trezor or the Ledger. Got videos on that on the channel if you want to check them out, but I'm not going to show you guys that again. So here we are. We're in the SHA-256. I'm just going to stick with this for this video. So this is the cheapest rig we've got. I'm naturally going to assume that that's an S9, you know, kind of obviously, right? You see the location here. He's in Germany. Will that be an issue with the pool I want to sync up with? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, this guy's S9 power party time. His rig seems kind of fun. Should we rent his? Uh, I mean, I would, but, you know, I'm kind of going for bang for buck here. I'm going to grab the cheapest rig. Uh, maybe I'm cheap. I don't know. So let's click rent now. You can see it's pretty uh, actively rented. We can see how much, uh, where is he at? Let's go to his profile, see what's going on here. He's purchased one rental, and he's got these three rigs. This one's offline. This one's currently rented, and wow. 
736 is how many times this rig has been rented. That's a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and rent him for 24 hours. That's going to cost me 0 0.002269 Bitcoin. And so let's run some numbers. That's how much it's going to cost me to rent it for 24 hours. I have an S9. So in the last 24 hours with my S9, I've made a little bit more than that. And any kind of an increase is an increase. So as always, everything varies. My S9 earnings have been a little bit over the all over the place. And I've had a couple issues with my farm recently. Cold temps turned my switch off. So that's been annoying. Anyway, whatever. And I'm clicking through. I'm lost. Help me. Someone save me. Anyway, let's rent it. Let's rent it right now. Okay, so we're waiting. Payment. I clicked rent, so it's probably like reserved for a second. Makes sense. I've got the Bitcoin I need in my account, so we're going to be able to just do an instant pay now. And now we're going to get to choose a pool. So I'm here with Slush Pool. So we need to sync the miner up that we just rented. So let's head over to the help center. And here we're going to go to the getting started section, getting started with Bitcoin. These are going to have the settings we need. So this is what we need. Just copy that. All right. So I just got interrupted and uh, had to help Crypto Chick with dinner for a second and lost some of my rental. But, you know, I'm going to act like that didn't happen. I have a little breakdown right here. So let's get back at it. We're going to need to put in the pool. So, you know, we grab the information over from Slush Pool and that's what we need. We're going to need a worker name. So on Slush Pool, your worker name is your username dot your worker name. And then the password can be anything. We're going to make a little LOL here and put in anything. So once you add that pool, it's going to populate right there. And we're going to click back over here to summary. You're going to see the rigs online. The pool status is online. So that's good. Now we just need to have it sync up with our actual uh, slush pool here. I'm going to click over here. Click refresh. Has not synced up yet, but I you know, just did it. Boom, you can see we have a scoring hash rate beginning. So that means it's beginning to connect and that's going to populate correctly or fully soon once it, you know, basically gets up to speed with the pool. So sweet. Real quick, why slush pool? It's one of the best Bitcoin mining pools around. In my opinion, I'm getting great results with my S9. I got great results last time. So it's a little bit different setting up than, uh, you know, some of the other pools. You know, you're going to just... Go to Slush Pool, make an account. You can figure that out. You're going to get the workers. It just auto populates you a worker one. You can use that. When you sync it up, you have to remember in your pool configuration, remember this is proper, and you have to remember to put your username dot worker name. If you don't, well, it's not going to connect. So just understand that. Keep that in mind. Also, one of the cool features with Slush Pool is you'll see we go to here our Bitcoin settings and we'll go to payouts. So this is my Bitcoin wallet I've synced up and I can put a payout threshold. So if I want to get paid out for every 0.02 Bitcoin that I achieve, I can save that and I'm not going to get paid out until I hit that. So let's talk about adding a backup pool. You should always have two pools so you don't lose downtime on your rig. I'm over here at pool.bitcoin.com, one of the other bigger Bitcoin mining pools and Bitcoin Cash mining pools. So I'm going to go in here and set up Bitcoin Cash as my backup just for fun slash to just really show you guys. So you have to make an account. Obviously, I'm sure you can figure that out. You can figure out how to make the account in here. I think there's a referral program with this and I'll throw that in the description below, but honestly, it's no big deal. And then we're going to look for the stratum URL for Bitcoin. And then here's the one for Bitcoin Cash. So I want to just throw Bitcoin Cash in there. Remember, SHA-256 mines Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So we don't want to have that there twice. That's going to mess it up. Boscoin. Dot. That should give us the worker name. We can have anything as our password. So let's see if this works. I'm going to bump this up to make this my priority pool. So now that's my priority pool. That's what the miner is going to switch to and start mining. I didn't mean to click that. I mean to be here. So you can see the rig's still online. That's good. The pool's still online. Also, just a quick note, if you rent a rig, it goes offline or anything like that, you can create a support ticket. You'll get reimbursed, compensated. The rig owner will probably just extend your contract to make up for that downtime. You always end up uh, you know, getting compensated in some 
way, shape, or form. So don't worry too much about that. Middle error there. Completely forgot that my username was in lowercase and pools can be finicky like that. So I switched the setting right here in the pool configuration. And I just bumped it all lowercase, foscoin.mrr. Same thing I had, but I had, you know, a capital V, a capital C, and uppercase MRR. And that was giving me, well, not giving me an issue. It was the issue. It would not sync up with the pool. And, you know, I waited a couple of minutes. And uh, immediately, almost immediately after changing that, this populated here. Granted, it's not showing a hash rate yet, but at least it's populated there. Oh, look at that. Already already populated. That was fast. So that was my issue. So if you're wondering how to mine Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin as far as syncing up with these pools. Again, these are some of the bigger pools for this. This is how you do it. It's applied to really any mining rig, let alone one you just rented. So I don't know why I keep clicking on that one. So that's that. And that's, you know, properly working over there. So that's cool. But I want to mine Bitcoin. So I'm going to bump this back. That was really just more as a backup slash a demonstration. And that's going to sync me back up with Slush Pool. You'll notice that I was on Slush Pool. I had two guys. And it's still reading my second worker as being active. Just because it had some shares on there. And you'll see that the hash rate isn't really reflecting having two miners there. So that's really it, guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment below. Let me know what you thought, what you want to see more of, everything like that. I'm a big fan of mining rig rentals. It's been around for a while. It's trustworthy. I mean, do you really want to throw your money at NiceHash after the whole debacle that recently happened? Also, if you look at minimum orders, that's a pretty hefty minimum order. You just watched me place an order that was, I think, less than half that. Yeah, I placed an order that was less than half that, and it could have been lower. You know, I chose that. So it's up to you, whatever you'd like to do. As always, make your own decisions, form your own conclusions, and let me know what you liked and didn't like about this video in the comment section below. If you do sign up with Mining Rentals, use Voscoin's code and support the channel and the growth. And that's really it. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to throw the uh, little tails closer in here because uh, tails never fails, and I'll see you guys next time.